Hi right, guys, welcome back to another Daisy video. Um, now, if you're a Daisy server owner, uh, you will probably be aware, or you should be aware, that the 1.21 experimental update um, isn't going to be too far away from releasing to the stable version. Meaning, you know, you're going to have to update your servers from the 1.20 version to the 1.21. Now, with the 1.21, um, as always, as there usually is, there's some new items that they've been added, and there's some other things that they've added, and you're going to have to update your server to have uh, to include these new items and to include any of the new things that they've added. Now, I'm going to show you how you can get these new items. Um, now, if you're running like a game server, something like GTX and uh, like Trada and that, I, I don't know if all of them do it. But I know some of them have an option where you can reset your types.xml files, uh, meaning they'll reset back to a default um, version, but they will include all the new items that they've added. So you don't actually have to manually add these back in. Now, the only issue I see with that, and I've never done this, so I could be wrong, but the only issue I see is when you are resetting your files back, if you've made any changes to them files, you're going to have to re-edit them files again because <coughs> sorry because it's going to reset all your values that you've set um to a vanilla thing to a vanilla state and for you to go back and re-edit them it's going to take i think a lot more work than it is to manually add the new items individually so what i'm going to show you is the way to just manually find these items and add them individually now it doesn't take long um you don't obviously want to add them yet until the update, but if you want to get them ready like I've done, I'm going to show you what to do. And the whole process of me doing it, obviously not recording and explain to you guys, but when I actually got the items, it took me less than 10 minutes to get everything. It's it's not a big one. It's nice and simple and easy to do. So anyway, let's get into it and I'll show you what you need to do if you want to do it this way. Now, the way I'm showing you, there may be a slightly better and more easier way of doing it. Um, but I think this way is just easy. And like I said, it took less than 10 minutes. But if you know a better way, <coughs> sure, go ahead and do it a different way. Let's just show you this way. Now, first thing you want to do is go to your Steam. And you want to install Daisy Experimental Server. Now, do this. If you back to where like you normally like search for your games and your library, like, go to your library. Uh, make sure where in this little thing you've got games and tools selected, or just at least tools, because it's going to come under tools. And I just search for Daisy. And then just in the tools part here, look, Daisy Experimental Server. Now, I've already got it installed, but make sure you go ahead and install that. Once it's installed, you can pretty much right click on it, go to properties, uh, go to local files, and then browse. Uh, let me bring that window over from my other monitor, and this will take you straight to the 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 uh, like the mission files, uh, mission folder for the experimental server. Now, what you want to do is go into your MP missions folder, and doesn't really matter which mission you go into, Chinaris or Enoch, and in Enoch being Livonia, of course. Uh, I'm just going to go into Chinaris, and then inside here, we we will want to come come to the init.c file in a bit. Uh, there is a change there which I'm going to talk about while I'm here, uh, but mainly we just want to focus on the DB folder, and then uh, into the types file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, I'm going to edit this, and I'm just going to edit it in normal notepad because I'm going to be opening two uh, files up here. So I'm just going to try to not confuse you and make it simpler. So anything that's open in normal notepad is the types file from the experimental 1.21 version. So if we just click edit, <clears throat> and this opens up in normal notepad. So remember, this is the experimental point 1.21 files right now we're just going to keep that there for the time being now if you go to um i'm going to put a link to this site in the description so you can just click the link and it'll take you to the thing but if you but alternatively if you just search for like daisy forums just like so and click on the this official daisy forum this will take you to the uh, the Bohemia interactive daisy forums now yeah, if you also worry, you can go back and see previous updates. So if you think maybe you've missed an item to add to your file from previous updates, if you click on PC updates, go to PC stable, 
it will have all the updates. So the current one, 1 1.20, 1 1.19, and you can just click on them. It'll take you to like the change log on that, and you can see all the new stuff that's been added and read what's all been changed. Right, we're just going to go back a minute though. What we want to do is, so if you back to this sort of main page, go back to uh, PC updates, and we want to go to the experimental updates. So this should have the experimental Daisy 1.21 uh, update there. Alternatively, you can. So I'm going back and forth. Just go to news and announcements, and you've got the. Uh, if you go to that 1.21 experimental release, there'll be a little change log here, PC change log or the Xbox One. You can click on that and it'll take you to the same thing. Um, but yeah, uh, if we just, I'm going back and forth a lot. Just go to PC updates. This is the only one you really need to go into. And the stable one is to go back and check previous updates if you think you might have missed something. Uh, but we're just going to do with the experimental one because I want to talk about the 1.21 update. Right, once in here, we're going to click on the experimental update 1.21 change log. Click on that. And just at the top here, you've got the added section. This is where you can see we've got some new items added. Uh, now, not every one of these is an actual item or something that you need to manually add to the game. We only need to add from crossbow down to wool gloves. Um, I thought feathers we have to add, but I can't see them in the game files. So I can't see an option. Uh, like a type for them, like a name for them to add. So for now, um, you just need to go from crossbow down to wool gloves. These are the only items that you need to add into the game. Feel free to have a look at everything else, see what's been added, what's been fixed, um, and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, just pay, be aware that we're only dealing with the stuff that I've got highlighted there. Now, if we go back to that notepad file in a second, and we're going to need to add the, we're going to need to search for them items. So for example, I'm, and I'm not going to go through all of them, but for example, let's just check the top one, crossbow, and we've got the color variants. Now, there is four of these, but if we just click in your notepad file and press Control F, it'll bring up this find box, and you can just type crossbow. Oh, well, I can spell it right. Right, move out of the way, and you can see it takes us to the crossbow. Now, I said there's four, so we've got the crossbow autumn. I'm going to click on where it says type name equals crossbow. I'm going to click on there and we're going to drag, hold the mouse button and drag. So you can see we're highlighting um, the, this, this crossbow. We're going to go down to crossbow black. Down, oh, I've gone down too far. Down to crossbow summer and down to crossbow wood. So we've got four there. And we're going to go all the way down just to this type tag above where it says type name equals crowbar. We're just highlighting all that. Once that's highlighted, if you press Control C, um, or you can actually do right click copy, but Control C will copy what you've highlighted. And then I've got another notepad open, which I'll bring from my other monitor. Um, we'll just start a new file. And then if we press Control V or right click paste, it will paste in the stuff that we've just copied. Now, what we're doing here is we're getting all the new items from the 1.21 uh, mission files and we're getting them ready we put them into a new file and getting them ready to update um, to the server files once the update is out so for now um we're just getting them ready we don't need to add them into a server um by getting them ready once you've updated your server you can literally just go into your files that you've got ready copy them and add them into your server files you don't want to add them now because, like I said, the update is now and the items aren't actually in the 1.20 version of the game. So you, you won't see them, you won't get to use them or anything like that. Right, now, once we've got the crossbow, let's just go back and do one more to show you. You can do the bolts. Now, the bolts are quite tricky. These are called, so if we open up the 1.21 mission files, um, if we just search for, I think if we just search for improvise, this is the easiest way that I got to find it. If you search bolt, it doesn't work. But if you search improvised, go to find next, and it'll it'll go through. It'll probably take you to something else, but it's going to go through and find everything that's got improvised in the thing. We we'll just keep clicking next, and you can do this in Notepad Plus Plus, which is probably going to be easier. The reason I've opened it up in Notepad is because I don't want to confuse you with the two files. Um. 
So this is 1.21 and in my notepad plus plus is the files that we're copying from this. But let's just keep going next until we see basically the bolts. Now there shouldn't be that many. It should only take you a few seconds or so. Okay, well that's the bottom. Let me go up to the top. Um do make sure if you are using notepad, you have to select the direction if you want to go up or down. So if you go down and you go to the bottom, you can't find it. Click on up and then keep click find next until you find it. Notepad plus plus, you don't need to do the direction, it'll automatically uh, go and find the file with that name in it. Um right here we go. Right, so we found the ammo improvised bolt too. So because I found one of them, if we just go up a little bit more, we're pretty much right at them. They're all together. And it starts there. Type name equals ammo underscore hunting bolt. So this is like the, the proper sort of bolt. And then we've got two improvised ones. So again, we're just going to copy. copy. We're going to copy from type name down. So you can see where I've copied. And we're going to copy it all the way down. The type tag here, just above the animal boss torus. And again, control C. Or right click copy. Then back to your other notepad file. And you can do this all in the same notepad. If you want to do notepad or notepad plus plus, it doesn't matter. I'm just doing it so you know my notepad plus plus file is the ones that I've got ready to go into a new file. And we're going to go underneath the type tag there. And we're just going to press control V and paste that in. Um, now, again, you go back and do the same. We'll do one more for you. We'll, we'll go through the sword. But basically, essentially, you want to go down and go all the way down to the wool gloves and color variants. Um, but let's, so let's just do sword. So in here. Now, sword will be called sword. So just be aware with this. Some names, how the names are wrote in this uh, change log are not always how they're wrote in the types file. So just pay attention to that. But if we click sword, nothing there, and we'll go that way, and we've got the sword there. So again, copy that. And we've only got one variant of the sword. So we'll just copy that and go to that's notepad and underneath control V. So do the same with all the other objects. Once you've got it ready, you can just save the file somewhere um, and it's ready to update to your server files. Right, now I've already got it here in my uh, tab one, should I say new one, so I'm just going to delete this, uh, but I have already, you know, got it here in this file. Once you've got it in that file, I'm not going to go in and show you how you add it to your server, but essentially once you've updated your server files to 1.21, go to your DB folder, go to the types.xml, you can either do it at the top or at the bottom, as long as it's in the file correctly there's no like errors there's no um structure issues with it put it at the top put it at the bottom wherever put it in that file and then you can save the file um and restart your server if it's online and where you go your server will be um will be able to spawn all the new files all the new items now again i've all i've altered my nominals and stuff go ahead and alter your nominals adjust it to how you want it spawning in your server and the locations and stuff. Um, right, now that's the new items. And like I said, this, doing it off camera, not trying to record, doing this and doing the init.c file, which I'm going to do uh, show you next, took me less than 10 minutes. So it's not a big job to do. Right, okay. So somewhere down here this is why you want to read this because it i've i've briefly read it i've not fully read it uh, but um i think where did i see it give me a second i'm just going to try and find uh the line about the init file and then i'll get back to you okay guys so for some reason i can't seem to find the bit that like they mentioned about the init i've had a good look through i've been using the search feature to search for the word and I can't find nothing where it said um, that they've changed. Basically, you, when you spawn, you can make it so items are in a certain location on your hotbar. So maybe your slot one, you would have, I don't know, a knife, a bandage or whatever it was. Slot two would have something else. Slot three, you know, blah, blah, blah. Now, I read it somewhere in here and I can't find it now. 
Um, I don't think they've removed the feature, but let me just go and check. So if we go back to the, we're in the 1.21 experimental mission files. We're going to go to that init.c file. I'm just going to edit this. And we're going to go to the bottom. No, they've still got it here. So basically, this command, and I'll put it in the description box for you guys. Um, it might make it easier. Uh, we've got this little command here. Player.setQuickBar entity shortcut. And then this little bit in brackets. Now, this is under item. So under, this is bandage dressing. So for this, this is saying it wants the bandage dressing in item slot two. Uh, if we scroll down a little to the next one, we've got a string of chem lights. Not chem lights, chem lights. And these are going to be in your item slot one. Hence the number one there. And then normally you have three. When you first spawn in with whatever clothes you have, you normally have... Uh, three slots now on your modded server you might spawn in with clothes and gear that's giving you extra slots um, so if you've got extra slots you know you can feel free to add more but with vanilla they give you only clothes that have three slots so in the third slot it's got either apple pear or plum whichever one it picks and this is in the quick slot three so keep this in mind if on your server the gear you spawn with if you only have three slots make sure you only um add the th the three things that you probably want on your up bar um don't add four five or six or blah 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 if you haven't got them slots available uh but if you do spawn with more slots you uh, like with clothes or gear that give you more slots feel free to, whatever items you've got in your init file you set to them slots now, if we quickly, I think I've got mine open in Notepad Plus Plus on my new two in my new tab, a new two tabs, so I say. Now, I need to delete this from here, but you can see I've already got the command, and this is my init file for one of my servers, and I've got quite a few items spawning, like I got Pipsy dressing, beans, knife, road flare, uh, some more food, uh, chem lights uh so i've got more than three things now i have set them so for example i have set uh so my bandage dress is on slot three my knife is on slot one my road flare is slot two and i think i've set yeah a tuna can to slot four um no that's not slot four actually no i left it there that's the quantity of it that's there um but you know you, you can technically if i wanted to say put my tuna can to slot four but if i don't have four slots then it's not going to spawn there if that makes sense but yeah so just mess around with that so the, again if we just go to the top of my file it's this command here and i'll put it in the description box copy that go to the bottom of your init.c file where you've got your items spawning and just underneath basically where you've got item ends and you got you got the item you usually have this item bs so you, like a quantity thing you can just put it underneath that um i think you can put it below the random health if you use that i've commented my random health out on some of these um these ones i haven't even got it at all because i don't want a random health i want all my gear to spawn in pristine uh, but yeah go ahead and put that there so again you can see i've got it under the item just like that and i've give it the slot it wants to spawn to so that's your init.c file once you've done that just save the file somewhere make sure you've got it ready for when your server updates to 1.21 and then you can just add it in now this is going to make it easier this init.c this is my exact init.c file um so once my server updates i can literally copy all this all thing and just replace my current init.c file uh, i'm not messing around with getting certain bits to copy um, and paste in i can just copy the old thing and again we've got my uh types file here i can just copy these and add them into my current uh types file anyway apart from that that's it any questions you know feel free to come and join discord if you're confused about anything um and again there's probably easier ways um and like i said this video is dragged on for a little bit but um, when you sit down and actually do this and you're not recording, you're not trying to explain to no one how to do this, you can get all this done with less than 10 minutes. Um, so it's not that long. Anyway, that's it. Until next time, guys, have fun and peace out and hope you enjoy 1.21.